Coronavirus Updates COVID-19 has killed more than 420,000 Americans in a year, and infections have continued to mount despite the introduction of a pair of vaccines late in 2020. Winning a new lottery in Minnesota could be a lifesaver. State residents can start signing up today for a vaccine lottery after a first-come first-served inoculation website crashed amid overwhelming demand. Less than 5% of the state's population had received a shot as of Sunday. Some travelers to England will have to quarantine in hotels amid concerns about new variants under a proposal Prime Minister Boris Johnson is expected to unveil today or Wednesday. Most foreigners from high-risk countries are already denied UK entry, so the new rules will mainly affect returning UK residents. As of last week, Alaska had administered more COVID-19 shots per capita than any state in the nation, according to CDC data. Missouri ranked last of the 50 states. Starting Tuesday, travelers flying into the U.S. from foreign countries will be required to present proof of a recent coronavirus test with a negative result. In California, the state with the most infections, health officials lifted regional stay-at-home orders on Monday, citing a decline in the numbers of COVID-19 hospitalizations and intensive care unit patients. Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine protects against two variants of the coronavirus that have emerged from Britain and South Africa, though not as strongly against the latter, according to a company study. World Health Organization officials indicated Monday that they do not believe Olympic athletes should receive priority access to COVID-19 vaccines, particularly if it means cutting ahead of the world's healthcare workers and elderly population. The U.S. has more than 25.2 million confirmed coronavirus cases and more than 420,900 deaths, according to Johns Hopkins University data. The global totals, more than 99.7 million cases and 2.1 million deaths. President Joe Biden has boosted his vaccinations goal for his first 100 days in office, suggesting the nation could soon be injecting 1.5 million shots on an average per day. Biden has drawn some criticism that his plan for 100 million shots in 100 days was insufficiently ambitious. The increased goal could result in about half the nation being vaccinated, or at least getting a first shot, by the end of April. Biden also has reinstated travel restrictions, which were in place for most of 2020, for non-US citizens who have been in Brazil, Ireland, the United Kingdom and much of Europe. Then-President Donald Trump rescinded the restrictions days before the end of his term. Biden also added South Africa to the restricted list. Masks may help prevent people who have COVID-19 from spreading the virus to others. The CDC recommends people wear face masks in public settings, especially when other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain. Wearing a face mask may limit exposure to respiratory droplets and large particles and may help prevent people who have COVID-19 from spreading the virus.